I read When My Name Was Kyoko by Linda Sue Park in May of 2021. It was a bit of a journey for me to get to this book. Uh, In the beginning, there was Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. I absolutely adore this book. It's one of my favourites. I've reread it a number of times. And I was aware of the South Korean film adaptation called The Handmaiden. But I have this funny thing with my favourite books is that I really, I'm really hesitant to watch adaptations of them because I often feel like, well, I've read the book, I've enjoyed the book, I can just stay in the story that the book has created. You know, I don't need something on the film. But the fact that The Handmaiden wasn't a straight adaptation, it had a different setting and a different time period, that intrigued me. And I enjoyed the film, you know, it is visually just luscious. And it did change the plot a little bit, but in ways that made it suit a film better. I I think it was a very um, respectful adaptation. But it does have a different time and different setting. It is set during the 1930s in Korea, during the Japanese annexation of Korea. And I watched this film and I was like, I never knew about that. I was, I was, you know, one of, it was one of those moments where you're just confronted with your immense ignorance, you know, and and I was immediately um, intrigued about reading more set during this time period and learning more about this this occupation of Korea. Um, and that brought me to When My Name Was Kyoko by Linda Sue Park. And this book was wonderful. It is set through the eyes of two children, a brother and a sister, living through not only the annexation of Korea, but also World War II. Um, it is a middle grade book, so it had a really easy language which was great for me because you know as I said I'm very ignorant of this time period and setting um the book started off as these lovely childhood vignettes which kind of reminded me of To Kill a Mockingbird in that way um but then a larger plot started and it had me gripped you know I found this book expertly crafted there was a balance between the plot and the tension of what's going to happen with real emotion. These characters definitely felt real. The situations they were in felt harrowing. You felt the effect of them. You felt the decisions that they had to make were never easy. The author had really done her research into people's experiences of that time. But ultimately, I think that she wove them into a story really well. And I was invested in it. I was so in to this book and I I really highly highly recommend it